Good day, folks. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the media mod for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Unfortunately, with the new form factor of the Hero 9 Black, the old media mod for the Hero 8 Black will no longer work. When the Hero 8 media mod was released, I wasn't overly impressed with the quality of the microphone. It sounded a little bit better than the built-in microphones, but not by much. And not only that, it did suffer greatly from wind noise. You can see with the new updated model for the Hero 9 Black, they've included a foam windscreen, so that should definitely help that out. In this video, we're going to test it out and see how it sounds. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So this is the new media mod for the Hero 9 Black and I know myself and probably many other people are a little bit upset that uh, we had to upgrade this again. The media mods for the Hero 8 Black were delayed right out of the gate last year and uh, it's kind of unfortunate that we have to spend money to buy a new one. I didn't think the audio quality was that great with the media mod. It didn't really improve it enough really to justify the cost of it. However, I did use it quite a bit because it was a nice convenient way to connect an external microphone. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it here. And uh, then we'll do some tests to see how the microphones sound. So you can see we have our literature. We have the microphone cover. So this is a nice addition. You know, you can keep it in your camera bag. And if it's a windy day out, you can pop that on over top. We have the media mod here. We have a thumb screw and a buckle mount. So let's take a look at the two and let's compare the differences. Right off the bat, you can see some major differences. The one on my left hand side is for the Hero 9 Black. The one on my right hand side is for the Hero 8 Black. You can see the microphone is a little bit different there at the front. This one here, you can see the uh, covering over it's a little bit different. And uh, one of the big things I'm noticing is this one actually feels a little bit chunkier. And not just that it's bigger, but it feels a little bit more robust. This one always felt really cheap. And you can see they've changed the material a little bit. I don't know if you can pick that up on film or not, uh, but it's more of a textured coating this year. Uh, that was one complaint that I had when I first opened it up. You can see here, this one got all scuffed up and marked uh, quite easy. It actually looked pretty bad after just using it a couple times. Um, this, the material they use just scratches so easy. So that's kind of nice that they've changed that. It should stay looking nicer longer. If we flip over to the back side here, you can see they've added something new as well. You can see they've got these rubber doors over all the ports. That's a nice touch as well. I actually like that they've done that. Keep all those ports moisture free. And finally, of course, it is a little bit bigger because the Hero 9 Black is bigger. So again, we'll have to remove the door just like the Hero 8 Black. And there we go, just like that. And as you can see here, the foam wind cover just kind of clips over there on top, locks into place. It's actually on there fairly securely, so I wouldn't worry too much about it falling off. There's a little tab there at the back. When you want to take it off, you have to press that, and then it pops off. Now, when you have the windscreen installed, there's still just enough room to mount the light mod just off to the side there. You can see it does press into the foam a little bit, but uh, Definitely it works out just fine. And of course you could always mount it on the top there like that. So anyways, I'm going to head outside and we'll do a couple quick audio tests. This is an audio sample using the built-in microphones on the Hero 9 Black. There's a lot of cars driving by, so we'll see what kind of background noise it picks up. And then we'll compare it to the media mod. Again, this is an audio sample using the built-in microphones on the Hero 9 Black. This is an audio test using the front microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. There's a lot of cars driving by, so we'll see how well it does in cutting out background noise. Again, this is an audio sample using the front microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. This is an audio sample using the back microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. There's a little bit of wind today, so I do have the foam wind cover on. Again, this is an audio sample using the back microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. This is an audio test using the built-in microphones on the Hero 9 Black. This is an indoor audio test. Again, this is an audio test using the built-in microphones on the Hero 9 Black. This is an audio test using the front microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. This is an indoor test. Again, this is an audio test using the front microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. This is an audio test using the back microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. This is an indoor audio test. Again, this is an audio test using the back microphone on the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. So as you could hear in that audio sample, the microphones that are built into the media mod for the Hero 9 Black are not fantastic. It's not mind-blowing by any means. I think the quality was decent and it does make the audio usable. Ideally, for best audio, you're going to still want to connect an external microphone, a nice quality microphone. This windscreen is definitely a nice addition. It wasn't overly windy out when I just did that quick audio sample. 
uh, but definitely I'll be testing it out in higher winds once I'm able to. Now I'm just going to power it on here because I did notice something interesting when I was recording. Uh, you can see down at the bottom here we now have an audio meter when it's connected to the media mod. So that's kind of a nice touch as well to help you monitor your audio levels. Now don't forget if you're going to be a heavy user of the media mod and you're going to be switching back and forth from the back to the front microphone frequently, you can add a shortcut rate on the front screen there. When you click on that, you can see it can be set to back, to front, or you can use the built-in microphones. Now if you're new to GoPro and you're not quite sure how to do that, all you do is go to your shooting mode there. And we're going to select the edit button. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see here we can set what shortcuts appear on the main screen, if you can see that there. Now upper left I changed to media mod. That was the one that had slow motion and uh, that's not really something I'm going to be changing on the fly when I'm in 4K. So I opted to put the media mod control there. So that is the media mod for the Hero 9 Black. Now I'm going to be doing some more testing with it. I'm actually going on a road trip this weekend to Niagara Falls. Perfect timing for the Hero 9 Black release. I'll be able to really put it through its paces. I'll be doing some more audio tests and I'll include that in my full review that will be coming early next week. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming Hero 9 Black videos. And we'll see you in the next one.